Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. rather be playing something else? Why? This is fun! Uh, sure, and it's Thursday, and on Thursdays... I get it. I'm too fat. Yeah? We're home! <gasps> the Living Stones! They probably brought back food! <laughs> Look at what we brought back for you! One for Eugenie, one for Susie, one for Washington. And this is for Sam and Victoria. It's a cat tree, Sam. You'll love it. Give us five minutes and we'll put it together for you. Washington, no playing ball in the street, okay? Hey, what's the point of a carrot? You can't eat. They're pet toys, guys. Apparently, pets love this stuff. Seriously, I saw it on TV. This, for example, is a ball launcher. Folks use them to zing a ball into the far distance. Look. <laughs> Well, they do recommend not to use it in town. It's meant for the beach or the countryside. That is awesome! Will you launch me, Wash? Say you'll launch me! Okay. I'll just go get the ball back first. I assure you, Mr. Police Officer, sir, a ball just fell out of the sky. Where could that ball have got to? Da ha There it is! Wash? Sure, it's you, Wash. I'd recognize that snout of yours a mile away. You don't recognize me? It's Magnus. Hey, Magnus, of course. <laughs> it's been ages, buddy. Yeah, you're telling me. You're looking pretty sharp. What's with the fur look? It's not my real fur. It's a costume. Thanks to this, I managed to get myself adopted by humans. Now, I live in the lap of domestic luxury. I knew you'd pull it off one day. You always were the sharpest fox in the box. Don't exaggerate. Anyway, how you doing? Well, you know what the forest is like. Grief all day long. I came into town to see if I couldn't find myself something to eat. Uh, I'm starving. I'm hungry. Shelter! Come on! Wow, your place sure looks cozy. Can I come in? I'm hungry. Hey, what? Can you hear me? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna help you, Magnus. I can't leave you like this. Where's the kitchen? Over there. You took your time. Did you find your ball? Huh? Is Wash acting weird to you? Uh -oh. uh, how does Wash do that? Wearing his costume but not wearing his costume both at the same time? I've never managed that. Magnus? Are you crazy? Magnus is a wild guy, 100%. The Living Stones will notice and then imagine what will happen if you get spotted without your costume. Hey, easy. Everything's fine. Magnus is just having a bite to eat. It'll only take five minutes. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Remember back in the forest? Forest? <laughs> Stop! It sure was rough. You're right. We gotta help Magnus. So, can you show him the house? I'll wait for you here. Ah, I'm gonna take a bit of time out of my costume. I can smell a wild animal here. Mm, kibble? Now, is that what you call them? They're awesome! Hey, stop! Are you crazy? That's my bull! Domestic life has rules and regulations. Everyone has their own bowl, and nobody touches anybody else's. If you want more kibble, you go find the masters and give your best cute show. Meow, meow, meow. 
<laughs> Hilarious! Do it again! Meow! Meow! Yay! My kibble! Lock nut 17 on shaft 19. What's a lock nut? <sighs> it's uh, cool here. Whoa, what's that? <sighs> That's a uh, Vic. Victoria, the house cat. No, the thing she's sleeping on. There, it looks real comfortable. Yeah, but no. Don't touch, it's her cushion. Okay, okay, quit the rules and regulation stuff. A fat lot of good they are. Ain't that right, fatty? Hey! Hey, no, Wash, you're gonna run! Who's he, your buddy? Let's say he's Wash's buddy. <laughs> Hey, Wash! You there? Over here! I had a run-in with Alvarez, but it's okay now. How's tricks with you? Tricks aren't good. Your buddy Magnus took my cushion, and if you don't get rid of him immediately, I'll take Sam's kibble hostage! What? That's not fair! Magnus has already eaten my share! There's no way I'm sacrificing myself! Hmm? Whoa, your human guys are trying to make some weird contraption and the noise is atrocious. I'm a light sleeper, me. I don't get a moment's peace. Ciao, Wash. See you around. That's what friendship is all about, making sacrifices. You're right. We did good helping Magnus. Are you joking? He stole my kibble. If you were in the same situation, wouldn't you have liked Magnus to give you his kibble? Yeah, but I mean to say, you don't steal my kibble. Hey, Magnus, you okay? Tell me, uh, I got a little favor to ask. My sister is starving. You <laughs> couldn't lend her your costume, could you? I mean, well, let's say that, uh... <laughs> yeah. yeah. And there's my cousin and brother-in-law, too. Okay with you? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Wash has lost weight. <laughs> Looks like Wash has gained weight again. No? <laughs> Is it me, or is Wash's weight yo-yoing madly? I get the impression our lovable little fur balls are up to something. That is not how we eat. First you have to ask the masters. Oh, uh -huh. this is not good, Schnookums. We are not happy. Honey, I think Wash is behaving really weird. If it continues, we'll have to take him to the vet. <laughs> You haven't seen a wild animal around here? I'm sure I picked up the scent of a wild animal. Wash, you gotta get your costume back. Your buddies are messing up. The Livingstone said they'd call the vet. If he turns up, he'll see there's a fox in your costume. And if the Livingstones don't call the vet, then I will. Okay, okay, I'll get it back. Relax, it was a joke. All the same, if I don't get my cushion back in the next five minutes, there's going to be trouble. Hey there! No overtaking! There's a line here for that costume! That's you right, you're you're right. Right. Hey. hey, look! If it isn't, why? Yeah, you're right! How's it going? What are you doing here? Shh, quiet! Anyone know where Magnus is? Magnus, I, I, I got to talk to you. Now, don't go thinking I'm complaining, but I kind of need my costume. No worries, Wash, but you'll have to queue up like everybody else. That's right. We're waiting, too. Uh... You know, Magnus, so far you've only seen the upside of domestic life. It's not always a bed of roses. There's loads of horrible stuff you got to do to deserve those rewards. We have to hug our masters. Say what? Hug our masters. It's this thing that <laughs> you'll believe it when you see it. What's he up to? He sure is taking his time getting his costume back. 
<sighs> so, do you have it? Nearly. I've got a plan. <clears throat> but I'm gonna need you. We're about to embark on Operation Snuggle. <laughs> I think our little honey buns want to say sorry for their monkey business earlier. <laughs> Look! Wash was wrong! <laughs> Operation Snuggle is working like a dream. Shall we move things up a gear? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter, little Sam. We'll buy you another one, Schnookums. <laughs> He's not going too far. How about you, Wash? Want to join in? Come on, give us a hug. That hugging stuff is horrendous. How do you put up with it? What, do you have absolutely no self-respect? I'd rather go back to the forest and put up with the grief. Washington, come give me a hug right this minute. Yeah, that's <laughs> the Washington Good we know and love. Hey, you, it smells like fox. <laughs> nineteen, nineteen. Sam, not gonna happen. What do you mean? I'm too fat, is that it? Okay, go on, <laughs> climb aboard. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What? Where? Huh? What's going on? The police? Aliens? The end of the world? This is your lucky day. Do you have a fortune at your feet? Yes, sirree, you've got one. Fortune! Huh? Fortune? Thanks to this incredible metal detector, if there's gold, silver, or precious jewelry buried in your garden, this detector will tell you about it in no time at all. Cutting edge technology, three day guarantee single cash payment with extra charge, this magnificent device will change your life. Change my life? Amazing! Everything I've dreamed of! I'll take it! <laughs> what is that incredible machine? Ugh, incredible or not, I don't like the look of it at all. Later, guys! <laughs> The battery for the remote control. It works. We've been looking for that battery for days. That machine is pure genius. I don't know how it works, but it sure looks fun. What in the world is that? A 50 cent coin. This, my dear, is a treasure detector. We are going to be rich. Amazing. And don't tell me you bought that piece of junk from the traveling salesman I saw in the street. But it was a real bargain. I'll go straight out into the yard and prove to you that this is not a piece of junk. A oh, treasure detector. Well, I knew how to detect one thing. The best place is in the yard to nap in the afternoon. <laughs> and three we jump. One, two... Hmm. Uh huh? No. Oh, aha! Ah! Uh, it's like our yard is sitting on a treasure trove. Yeah. Sam, get out of here! Yeah, looks like there's no way I'm getting a peaceful afternoon nap today. This whole yard is crammed with treasure just waiting to be dug up. Oh, another treasure there! Yeah. <laughs> Honey! Uh -huh. Aha! 
I told you, our lawn is brimming with treasure. Quick, I need something to dig with. You're on your own here. Aha! Hmm. See how excited he's become since he's got that treasure hunting gizmo? Incredible! Nah, the true scientist is only too familiar with the thrill of discovery. Yeah, and by some weird coincidence, it detects treasure wherever I decide to take a nap. <laughs> Can you believe that? Wait, you mean to say the detector always beeps wherever you're standing? Mm-hmm. <gasps> that is no reason to be pleased with yourself. If that detector always beeps near you, it must be because of your zipper. My zipper? Yes, think about it. The remote battery, the dime, that detector detects metal. <gasps> And your zipper is metal, like Eugenie's, like Susie's, and like mine. <gasps> and so obviously it sets the detector off. We're done for. Yeah, you reckon? I know we are. We have no place here. So, what are we gonna do, Wash? Mm -hmm. I know, while there's still time, no. we've gotta watch TV. We have to stop him digging. <laughs> Yeah, but what for? If he discovers there's no treasure beneath where you're sitting, he will realize it was you setting the thing up. You. Yeah. Right, here we go. Here's pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. huh? Gracie went back into the house and took her toy with her. What do we do now? I know, we'll make like Father Christmas. You mean we get some tiny weird guys with pointy hats to make the toy for us? And then we wait for the snow so they can deliver it to us? No, we head down the chimney. Ah, great idea. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing there. Hmm. That's impossible. Uh oh! Quick, Sam! Follow me! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cat! If only our zippers were made out of that weird stuff that makes that really loud sound when you pull on it. You mean Velcro? Okay, right. Don't panic. Must be some solution. Let's think. You sure? I'm thinking. You're thinking. You're thinking. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Sam. Water. What's up with him? I only asked him to think. Ouch. Bad idea. Okay, I'm off. I'll leave you to think in peace, huh? You okay, Sam? Mm, Sam and Kibble. Huh? What Kibble? You, oh no, why did you wake me up, Wash? I just found a huge bag of Kibble hidden in the yard using the detector. <laughs> there isn't any Kibble in the yard, Sam. It was just a dream. <gasps> Sam, you are a genius! What? We're going to get a kibble detector? No! We're gonna hide real treasure in the yard. That way, when Mr. Livingstone finds out, he'll leave us completely alone. Real treasure? Like what? Something very, very precious. Something people have to hide so that nobody finds it. <gasps> I think I have an idea, Wash. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the batteries. Yeah. Ha! Hey, there you are, Sam. It's all right, he's gone. It's up to us now. Did you bring the treasure? Yeah, look at this. Acorns? What are we supposed to do with acorns? You wanted treasure, and you know this dash of acorns is a true treasure to me. It's taken me many months to collect it. Oh, Sam, we're not in the forest now. Humans don't care for them. They're just acorns, get it? We need real treasure, something shiny, some treasure so incredible, people would do anything to get their hands on it. We know where you can find treasure, real treasure. Duh. It's true, come on, we'll show you where it is. Shiny! 
shiny, like treasure. Ain't that right, Bush? Yeah, but what is it? I don't know, but the girls are right. That's the prettiest treasure I've ever seen. Right, no time to lose. We have to bury it before Mr. Livingstone gets back. <laughs> what are you doing? We're covering our tracks. But not now. First, we have to put the treasure in the hole and then fill the hole back in. Uh -oh. uh, what? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. ah. Uh -huh. ah. ah. That bag you're hiding behind your back, Sam. Yeah. You haven't found my treasure, have you? Go on, show me, Sam. Oh no! Sam? Sam, give that to me. You have stolen it from me. Hey. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> huh? This way, Sam! Quick! It's okay, Sam. Ha! Ah, yeah. There they are! My pretty little treasure thieves! Everything's going to be fine, Sam. Just hand over the bag. Ah, now there's a good boy. Uh, acorns and... A cheese grater? Huh? And there's me thinking I found some real treasure. Darling! Mm -hmm. Ah, there you are. What's the matter? You were right, honey. I have found nothing but a pile of junk. Oh, wow! This is my Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater. I thought it was lost forever. Thanks. This is the best treasure you could ever find. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> now nobody will find our treasure. Darling, huh? you haven't seen Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater, have you? It was on the kitchen table. Hang on, I'm on my way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Want to play with the flying disc? Fresh air would do you a world of good. You've been sitting in front of the TV for hours. Unless you... Aw, oh, Sam, I knew I could count on you, dude. Can you move over a little? You're blocking the screen. Huh? Oh. I bet there's a way I can play with the flying disc by myself. You just have to be sly. Like a fox, in fact. I can't play by myself, can I? Come on, guys! Sports are essential for your health! A dog's need for exercise varies from one race to another. For example, certain hunting dogs are true sprinters, just like foxes. Because, of course, these two animals are members of the same family, the canine family. Although our domestic dogs... No Did you hear that? Wild, I'm a cousin to dogs! That explains why I need to go outside and run all the time! In fact, our family is quite athletic. Speaking of outside, how about going there right now? I still haven't completed my 14-hour sleep cycle. Hmm? 
<laughs> okay, I get it. If that's the way it is, I'm going outside to play by myself. <gasps> Good idea! We can watch TV in peace! <laughs> you guys deserve each other, the bunch of you. I'm beginning to think that my dog cousins are the only ones who truly understand me. Excellent! Go on outside and play with your cousin! All right then! Fine! I am going outside to play with my cousin! Who's he going to play with? His cousin! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hi there, Alvarez! How you doing? It's been such a long time since we've seen each other. You're sure looking good today. Are you making fun of me? Not in the least. I just wanted to spend some time with you because I just realized that we've got loads of things in common. Right, cousin? We may be cousins, but my tongue doesn't hang out like yours. Hey, uh, how about we play a game of flying disc together? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I've had more than my share of exercise this morning. Oh, I see. A little later, maybe? But anyway, is there anything you need? You know, you can ask me for anything you like. Anything? I can ask you for anything? <laughs> Between dogs and foxes. Uh, uh, I mean, dog and dog, you know. Like, do a cartwheel? Yeah, cartwheel. Uh, okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. Anything else? And what about a worm? <laughs> I hop on your tail. <laughs> okay, Wash, you and I are going to spend a little time together. Wash? Yoo-hoo! Where are you? In fact, we want to play with the flying disc with you after all. <clears throat> so, after this, cousin, how about we play that game of flying disc? Shush! Massage is about relaxation. Ah, okay, sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. I'm often told that I talk too much. That's something I don't actually notice, you know, given that I never stop talking. <laughs> Wash is giving Alvarez a massage. He calls him cousin. He looks really happy just being with him. All this is because we didn't want to play with the flying desk. Why is Wash calling Alvarez cousin? I'd be extremely worried if I were you. Alvarez is a manipulator, and he's going to take advantage of Washington's generosity. This is going to go very wrong in the end. Ah, it's a catastrophe! Wash is abandoning us! <laughs> what do we do, Sam? What do we do? Uh, we ask Wash. He's the one who thinks of plans. Channels. Mm, no, we take a nap. You'll do everything you can to get Wash out of Alvarez's clutches. Yeah, that's it. Exactly what I wanted to say. So now I'll leave you to it. Uh, I have several naps to catch up on. Yeah. Wash, there you are. <laughs> Cousin Alvy needed to go indoors to cool off, so I suggested he come here to the house. Afterwards, we're gonna play with the flying disc, right, cuz? And so, you guys are all done with your TV marathon? Yeah, and we wanted to get you out of Alvarez's clutch. Uh, to get outside and play with the flying disc. Yuck, don't tell me you actually eat this revolting discount kibble. Ugh. Well, what? He's an aristocratic dog. He's used to luxury. <laughs> Yeah, too hard. Too soft. Too hard. Too soft. Too hard. Not bad. Oh, it's rather hot in here, isn't it? Could you give me some air? Faster. Not so fast. Talk. I haven't got time. Cousin Alvarez is waiting outside to play flying disc with me. 
You've got to get rid of him. He's just using you. No, he's not. Alvarez is really sweet. That's just because you don't know him very well. But anyway, he's my cousin. Family is special. But we're your family. Ta! You guys, you're my friends. But he's family. And he's always willing to play flying disc with me. Whoosh! I haven't got all afternoon for this game. Aha! <laughs> hmm. See? Just like I told you, he's a magnificent flying disc player. He's hopeless. Even Sam plays better. Affirmative. Hmm. Whoosh! I'm coming, Alvy! <laughs> Looks like Alvarez has made a real lapdog out of you. Pooey, you're just jealous. Yeah. <laughs> we just wanted you to realize that we're the ones who are your real friends. Alvarez is my cousin. I know I can trust him. And I'm going to prove that by telling him I'm actually a fox. Wait and see. He'll accept me for what I am. What do we do? Yeah. Okay. No TV. No naps. Give me a couple of seconds. I'm thinking. You stop Wash from revealing his secret to Alvarez. Exactly. I'm on it. Alvarez, uh, there's something I have to tell you. The truth is, I'm actually... Uh... Yeah! Go fetch! Oh! <laughs> Alvarez! Alvarez! Uh, what I was trying to tell you... What? Ah! <laughs> we'll just see who has the last word on this! What? You okay, Wash? How about watching a movie? Yeah, why not? You guys were right about Alvarez. Yeah! Oh, finally, you did it! it. Wash, I really need a massage. Oh, no! It's Alvarez! What am I gonna tell him? Hey, how about we hide? That way, if he doesn't find us, he'll just leave. Yeah! Let's hurry! He's almost here! <laughs> Woohoo! Wash! Aha! Here you are, Alvarez! Great timing! I was waiting for you! Oh no! He tricked us! Now he's going to tell Alvarez everything! Then we'll have to return to the forest again to the cold and the rain! Goodbye, <laughs> TV! <laughs> so listen. I'm actually, uh... Oh. <laughs> well, what? This could be our last chance to listen to TV. It's true that dogs and foxes are very close species. One can see this in their similar physical traits. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Foxes have nothing to do with dogs. We are far, far more advanced than those inferior wild animals. What? What do you mean, inferior? A fox's vision and sense of smell is far more developed than that of a dog. Excuse me? <laughs> zero hygiene, zero poise, zero class. Foxes are the very last species on the planet I deign to frequent. I'd rather befriend a pigeon. At least they know how to hold their heads up when they walk. What? So, what was it you wanted to tell me? What I wanted to say was... Go fetch, Doggy Woggy! <laughs> Who wants to play with the flying disc? I could think of an activity that everyone here would like. Uh, uh, oh! oh. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> I 
I was just feeding our lovable little furballs. Hey! My lucky coat! <laughs> you weren't thinking of... But honey, it went out of fashion 50 years ago. So, it's a collector's item. My dad gave it to me. He wore it at Woodstock, the legendary 60s festival. Don't you realize? It's staying here. See you later, sweetie pies. Be good. Are you crazy? She's asleep. Don't wake her up. You know what she's like. Hey, Dick, can you loan me your kibble? Of course, Sam. A cat's got to share everything. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Alvarez's fur. Make me for Alvarez Jellyfish Dominoes! <laughs> Excellent! Hey, Sam, go on, tell us what His Majesty has on his mind. <laughs> what a disgusting stink! Do you ever think to wash your mouth out of his mouth fur? Okay, I hope the clown show's nearly finished. Since when does a cat dare to give orders to His Majesty King Alvarez? I don't believe it. Whenever they dig out a new costume, they have to do something dumber than before. <laughs> Psst, you can't stay here. Alvarez isn't a furry funk. He got out of the wrong side of his dog bed this morning. Sure. So I advise him to come nowhere near me because I have an unfinished cat nap to complete. Ah. Whoa, whoa. Ah. What is a cat doing on my turf? I marked this tree this morning. Get out of here. Yeah? Well, I hope that someday you turn into a cat. Then you'll find out just what it's like having to constantly deal with goofballs like you. My kibble? I don't believe it! Sam! The only kibble I need are doggy delights because I'm worth it! Sam? Cousin of Sam? Say, if Alvarez catches you here, you'll be in deep trouble. You better skedaddle. No? What are the... Are you crazy? You'd better get out of here quick. This is Alvarez's turf. That's right, and I am Alvarez. No, it ain't you. What? Of course it's me. So can you tell me Alvarez's true name? Uh, uh, uh. Elmo, <laughs> satisfied now? A cut! Ha 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 ha! Get out, you foul beast! <laughs> Duh, it's the curse of Victoria! The day of reckoning has arrived! A cat? A cat? They've all gone screwy in that yard. <laughs> I don't, I don't believe it. It isn't me. Sure it is. It is you. It's all because of the curse of Victoria. She transformed you into a cat. <laughs> but that is ridiculous. Yeah, well, if I were you, I would go ask her to forgive me and lift the curse. Otherwise, you'll never be a dog again. Ask for a cat's forgiveness? But... No dog has ever stooped so low. So, everything's fine. You're a cat now. <laughs> Alvarez! 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 Okay, girls, that's enough. The living stones will be home soon. Sam, put your costume back on. Phew! I don't know how Alvarez does it. It's so hot in here. Ooh! <laughs> I am the fairy phantom from the attic! <laughs> hey, my costume! Where is it gone? Sam, how many times have I told you to be careful? Girls, come help us find it. Hey, guys. <gasps> what happened to your 
legendary sense of humor. Vic, uh, you haven't seen Sam's costume, have you? Sam's costume? Uh, no. Why? Hmm? Oh, no! The Living Stones! You sure? Since when did they knock to come home? Good point. Washington, it's me, Alvarez! Alvarez? Yes. I've got to talk to Victoria! It's urgent! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Huh? That wasn't Alvarez after all. No, it looked like a cat, and I'm sure I've already seen him someplace before. <laughs> Vic, you stole Sam's costume and put it on Alvarez. That's it, huh? <laughs> that was fantastic! You should have seen your faces! Well done, Vic. Without his costume, Sam will have to go back and live in the forest, and us too! And you know what it's like living in the forest? You know what it's like! Okay, okay, it was a joke. We'll go get your costume back. Okay, Sam, you're gonna hide here while we retrieve your costume and put this furry thing back on. If the Living Stones catch you before we get back, they better not find a wild boar in the house. But Wash, wearing that thing gets really hot. Wash? <laughs> the bird. He must know how to put an end to this curse. What if it contaminates us? We'll start barking too. It's too dangerous. We've got to call up the professionals. Hello, Adam Pal. Alvarez is a big enough pain in the neck when he's around, but he's even more annoying when you have to go look for him. Quick, we gotta catch Alvarez before the pound guy, or Sam's costume will be lost forever! <laughs> we don't have that choice. We must get Sam's costume back, whatever it takes! <laughs> We definitely saw that weirdo cat charge down this alley. There was a bunch of other animals on his tail. Where did they get to? We're barking up the wrong tree. There's no cat here. Let's move on out. Holy kibble, that was a close call. Oh, that for that knucklehead Alvarez. Say, where did he get to? <laughs> Cursed beast! Are you willing to ask forgiveness and grovel at my paw so that I may lift this terrible curse? I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I'll never torment a cat again. I promise. That is better. Now, open your ears. I shall release you from your curse using my magic incantation. <laughs> Wala -la -la -la! The lucky guys. At least it's cold where they are. But I wouldn't get to be in their shoes. <laughs> Hello, honey pies. We're home. Okay, this magic spell number is truly hilarious. But uh, just what is your plan to get Sam's costume off Alvarez's back without him noticing? No idea. You're Mr. Wise Guy around here. You must have some idea, huh? Me? No way. Wash! Maybe I do. Is that it? Have I become a dog again? Silence! Okay, are you done yet? No need to take me for some bozo. Your magic baloney isn't working. Of course they do. The spells will summon your spirit clone. And this demon will help you find your true exterior. Open your eyes. Your clone is upon us. Ah! Is that me? I, I don't believe it. It's me, but I'm me too, and we're both of us here. Awesome! It's my costume. Oh, with this suit, I was ready to set sail for the ice and snow. Know much about penguins? They're cool. All I do know about penguins is that penguins didn't charge miles around town to get your costume back, Sam. So zip it up quick before Alvarez wakes up. <laughs> How about we 
we put it in the kitchen? Ugh, hang on a minute, dear. Just let me get out of my coat. Whoa! See that, Sam? Dead ringer for Fluffy. Too right! Sam! <laughs> hey, honey, have you tidied away my lucky coat somewhere? <laughs> wow, what a crazy adventure that curse episode was. Huh? Well, I never. Alvarez's coat. My coat? Uh -huh. What coat? Alvarez, you've turned back into a dog. Obviously, a dog is for life. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Yes, I love you, Vanessa, but I must leave you. What do you 
think my quick setting cement little bit. <laughs> The acorns are mine! <laughs> this is really starting to get on my nerves! We can't see anything! That toy! It's driving them both nuts! Totally! Yeah, absolutely! this morning. Good thing everybody is all snug and warm inside. back in for a snack. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sam, what are you doing there? I'm hiding. I can't leave the room. Hiding? But hiding from what? Where's your disguise? It disappeared. Help. Hmm. But we can still see her behind. <laughs> That's what happens when you cross me. I'll give Sam back his costume, but under one condition. Which is? That Sam agrees to let me keep the acorn forever. Do whatever you want, Vic, but hurry up! Follow me. <laughs> the costume is under there. No, it's not! Hmm. Unless I hit it behind the TV? Oh, we've turned the whole house upside down and still no costume. All right, so at least we know it's not in the house, which limits our possibilities to... The rest of the world? Shall we have a cup of tea in our room? Oh, this doesn't look good. Do you mind telling us what you're doing under there, Sam? Uh-oh. Hey, come on, you big oaf, you. What's wrong with him? He seems frightened of something. If I have to take apart the entire bed to save our darling Sam, well, then I will. Well said, darling. Let's quickly go get your toolbox. Um, we seem to have a bit of a problem. Hold on a sec, guys. No time for 
for small talk, Eugenie. We've got a costume to find. Sam, whatever you do, stay here. It's all over for me, Wash. You guys have done your best, but I've come to the end of the line. Please, take care of Eugenie, my dear little sister. I'll never forget any of you. Never, ever. There's no choice, I have to unzip! dangerous <laughs> <laughs> Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hear that, darling? Sounds like the engine's wearing out. You think so? I hope we don't break down before we get to the vets. <laughs> Pointless, pathetic, incompetent. Get out and don't come back until you know how to heal animals, Vladimir. Get a grip on yourself and man up. You see that? Looks like the vet has been thrown out of his own clinic. Yay! New more annual checkups. What's happened, Doctor? <sighs> Val was right. I'm incapable, pointless, useless, a dead weight in this world, ashamed of my profession. Don't say that! I am, I am, I hate my job. I'd never have become a vet if my mom hadn't forced me to. My big dream was to become a Tibetan flutist. Everything will be fine, Vladimir. Go on home and take- But this is my home. I haven't anywhere else to go. Mommy! <laughs> We'll take care of you, you'll see. In a few days, you'll be raring to go again. Come and hang out with our lovable little fur balls for a while. I'm sure they'll put a smile back on your face. We gotta get out of here before that monster sees behind our disguise. We head back to the Living Stones once he's gone. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Look, they're so excited about showing you around the house, they jumped out before we poured. Okay, we're trapped. Keep your distance and make sure the vet does not see your zippers, okay? What kind of distance? I don't know. Two yards? Two and a half? Hmm? That's about 20, 25 sausages end to end, Sam. Or 250 sitting in a line. Let's go play with our darlings in the yard. You'll see, it'll cheer you up to no end. In you go, sweetie pies. Hi! Everybody run for cover! <laughs> uh, fluffy babies? 
I bet I scared them away. No, they're only playing hide and seek. Call for them, and they'll soon come running. Uh, uh Philadelphia! Not bad. He is named after a city, but not that one. The name's Washington. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paddington, uh, Pab, Lucy, uh, Zucchini. Uh, close. It's Washington, Sam, Susie, and Eugenie. Oh, yeah. Uh, Washington, Sam, Eugenie, Susie. It's a trap. Yeah. Don't move! Oh. They probably didn't hear you. I haven't cleaned their ears out in over a month. Sweetie pies! Here they are. Look how pleased they are to see you. How about we all go play ball? They love playing ball. Uh, don't move, okay? Go on, throw. You go first. <laughs> see, they don't want to play with me. It's obvious. You have to throw the ball further. Look, like this. I am so sorry. Are you okay? Can you hear me? <laughs> I want my mommy. How about we play that, huh? You like that, playing that? It's a game he's sure to win. It'll give his confidence a huge boost. Mr. Livingstone, you are a genius. Mm -hmm. I never want to hear anyone mention that job again. Never. I'm packing it in right this minute. That means we never have to worry about him again, Wash. That's what he wants us to think. But it's a trap. Mm. A trap to get us closer to him. On your guard. You can be proud of yourselves. Thanks to you, poor Vladimir has packed in his brilliant career as a vet. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I warn you, if you don't give him a big hug right this minute, you won't have any kibble. I'll give you five minutes. It's blackmail. Don't give in to it. That's how it all starts. First, zero kibble. Then, you gotta sleep outside. Finally, you wind up at the dog pound. Or worse, back in the forest. Hmm. Okay, Sam. Go give the vet a big hug. Why me? Because, uh, go on. I'll explain later. Okay. But don't forget this time, all right? Or else I'll get to thinking you're taking me for a ride. <sighs> hmm. TV is better with pictures, don't you think? Say, I'm going to show you my favorite program. Uh, so stop! Look! It's Imatan Tabakuk, the famous Tibetan flute player. Listen to that. What talent, what beauty. Absolutely, it's remarkable, sublime. Soon it's time for my favorite... Shh! Uh, huh. Yo. Sam, give him a hug. Jump on his lap, quick. Or goodbye, kibble forever! Ah, a cat! Disgusting! It'll give me fleas! Get out of. Uh. Oh, what soft fur! Oh, it feels like acrylic! Fake acrylic fur! See that, honey? Vladimir's got his smile back. So what? Hmm? Because of him, I can't even watch my favorite program. Come on, the main thing is he's perked up a little. And with Sam, he's sure to soon start feeling better and better. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'll make you another one. <laughs> What's gotten into you? That's our family photo album. Hello, there are people waiting out here, and you've been in there for hours. Okay, okay, it's all yours. Anyway, there's no more hot water left. <laughs> that Vladimir is really getting on my nerves. Come on, honey, we can't just throw him out. At least he's not sleeping in our bed, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he's gone too far. He has to go. It's time for him to go back to the clinic. You know he doesn't want to be a vet anymore. Well, I'm going to teach him the joy of curing sick animals. You'll see. What are you going to do? Our babies are in perfect health. Girls, wake Run! up. We have a situation. I was in the oven, and what I heard... What are you doing in the oven in the middle of the night? 
Well, after they've roasted chicken, I love licking the sides of the oven. Oh, boy. But hey, that's not the issue. I was in the oven and I heard the living stones plotting in the kitchen. They want to put something in our kibble to make us sick, so that then the vet can make us better. Whatever you do, don't swallow a thing, okay? Sam, where are you going? I want something to eat. <sighs> Sleep makes you hungry. Sorry, Sam. Too long to explain. But from now on, you got to stop eating anything. What? Stop eating? <laughs> Sam! My little Sammy boy, answer me! Call the vet, quick! But you're the vet. I gave up that career, as you well know. And anyway, I threw away all my instruments. <laughs> I picked him out of the trash can. Any other questions? Hmm. How does this work again? You put it on the heart. Not on your uh -oh. heart, Sam's heart. And you put the other end in your ears. No, you've got to put those bits in your ears. It's pointless. I'll never manage. It's been so long since I gave up. It was only yesterday. That bed is pathetic. He's never gonna cure Sam. The only thing that can cure him is to eat. Susie, let me remind you that the Living Stones have doctored all the food to make us sick. Are you sure about that? As sure as two plus two makes six. Four. <laughs> two plus two makes four, you jelly brain. The Living Stones haven't poisoned anything. Not the kibble, not the canned food, nothing, nada, zilch. I think they have. Can you tell me why you're all covered in red spots, Vic? Huh? Can you? It's makeup, knucklehead. The Living Stones want to make the vet think that I'm sick so then he can cure me, build up his self-confidence, and clear on out. This means we can give Sam something to eat. We could put him in a cast. Mm -hmm. That could work. Why? He hasn't broken anything. We'll have more luck with a medical encyclopedia. Let's see now, where are we? Camel? Caribou? Ah, ha, here we are. I'm awake? You'll never believe it! I dreamt I was eating kibble! It was awesome! What a fascinating book, don't you think? If I'd known all this, I might have been a better vet! Meow! Meow! Sam! I don't believe it! I cured him! I'm a genius of animal medicine! It's plain to see! How has the world managed without my talent for so long? I've made up my mind. I'm taking up my stethoscope again, and I'll base my clinic here. Here we'll put the waiting room, and here my treating room. It's gonna be cutting edge, high tech, state of the art. What do you think? How about you head back to your clinic instead? Oh. <laughs> Velma, it's me. I'm going back to work. Medicine needs me. Vladimir cured our cat without so much as touching him. It was phenomenal, exceptional. You must take him back. Mm -hmm. I know you'd get your old touch back, Vladimir. Welcome home. Incidentally, I believe you have an appointment for your adorable little animals. Oh, really? No, 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 just a routine checkup. Thank you, goodbye. <gasps> I think I've had enough of vets for one day. <laughs> That was close. Boy, am I ever happy he's out of the house. I got to kind of like him. No, I can't wait for the next appointment. <laughs>Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe. No way. It's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. <gasps> Good little doggy, who does everything Daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats wash? We don't have to go bootlicking humans for love and appreciation. 
All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious. Everything a dog is not. <laughs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees, whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Bic. Yeah? Really? The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Mm, mm, Elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on. Grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. Hang on tight. Washington! 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 as a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. Yay! Washington! Washington! So, Vic, ready to pay the price for defeat? Yay! Pay the Don't price, even pay think of it. <laughs> oh, look at Daddy's cute little dog. <laughs> this off. <gasps> you are pretty pie. Yes. Hey, Wash, not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble. It's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little doggy, eat him up. <laughs> Yet. Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we didn't. It isn't funny. But it isn't Wash. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. It's weird. It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him. It's because it isn't Wash, Sam. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Oh, yeah! Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on. Wash wearing... No. Who's it again? Go on, Washington. Catch! <laughs> Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her, Wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. Uh, what? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria's ruining it all in one afternoon. If she carries on like that, the living stones are gonna kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. I mean, Vic and then me. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the Living Stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. <laughs> Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. 
Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, <laughs> Washington! My slippers! <laughs> Washington, my slippers! Gosh, what has that meant to you? Washington, please! Sam, go tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs. And make her give me my costume back, please. Wash, you bad dog! Don't ever do that again, otherwise you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your... Ru Washington, calm down! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're going to leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. I mean, Vic, Wash told me to tell you that, uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? Dogs are better than cats? If it's war Wash wants, he's going to get it. Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> oh! Oh! Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute, or... What about my costume? Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know. They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen. You gotta stop bugging Vic. She's really mad. There's gonna be trouble. Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! Ah! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> You naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh. We better get your costume back and back. I have an idea. Try to tell the Livingstones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Yeah. Oh, Victoria, you are so sweet. Not like bad, bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this, but for the safety of all of us, we must call the animal pound, honey. It's our duty. No, this is the end. Wait. Washington is sick. Maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Vladimir Venovic's veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me. Our cats. Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when I get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose like Vic said? Because I'm not a real dog, Eugenie. You smell them. <laughs> they stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, a kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped them apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns. So I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hit my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. Where is it? Don't panic. It happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking. There must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess. I'm impressed with you. How about we make peace? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? 
Look, honey, it looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course, it must be those vitamin-enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. <sighs> what? Only fools never change their minds, no? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I'm sure there's already a new one growing in its place. Mm -hmm. Hey, plant it in the yard. I heard an old oak tree will grow on top of it with tons of delicious acorns. Is it acorns mm -hmm. that grow into acorn trees? Yeah, oh yeah. So then if we plant a tooth, it will make a... Ah! A tooth tree! <laughs> so maybe we should avoid that scenario by tossing it in the garbage. Most certainly not, you bunch of fools. Baby teeth are worth a fortune. What? In the city, when you put a tooth under your pillow during the night, a tooth fairy comes and gets it and leaves a present in exchange. <laughs> Don't you remember Biscuit, the little mouse who lives with the living stones? Mm -hmm. Well, Biscuit works part-time as a tooth fairy. <sighs> That's all nonsense. Yeah. I lost a tooth two months ago, and Biscuit never came with the slightest gift. Ah, could be your tooth was too boring for him. Yours, Eugenie, is way more interesting. What's so special about my tooth? Well, for a rabbit, that's one huge tooth. And I can assure you, teeth like that are pretty rare here in the city. I'm sure you'll get an enormous present. Better tooth fairy. Here's this. Biscuit has made fun of us yet again. Well, why the long faces? You said that Eugenie would get a super present, and she got totally ripped off instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh all you want, but we haven't said our last word. <laughs> what do you want? Just what is this lousy gift, huh? Eugenie left you a super tooth, and she deserves a super present. Give us back the tooth. We're gonna see another tooth fairy. A real one this time. Too late. A deal's a deal. Can't go back on it now. And for your info, I've been running Baby Teeth Incorporated, the company that handles all the teeth in the hood for years. And for years, a rabbit tooth is worth a clothespin. No more, no less. <laughs> and one more thing. You can thank your lucky stars. Since it was a big tooth, I gave you a big clothespin. <laughs> Did you hear that, Sam? Yeah, it's my stomach growling. I've only had four meals today. Shh. Is this totally exceptional? What did I 
I say? I'll give you five kilos of cheese and uh, a muscle. 20 kilos of cheese and a muscle. Uh, 10 kilos and no muscle. 15. 12 kilos and half a muscle. It's a deal. Right. I have to organize transportation now. I'll be okay. Wow. 12 kilos of cheese and half a muscle? <sighs> Eugenie got totally ripped off. And we've got the proof now. I'm going to make a deal. What is it you want this time? <clears throat> well, according to the latest news flash, it appears that Eugenie's tooth is exceptional and that it's going right on today's tooth market is about 12 kilos of cheese. And half a muscle. So either we get it back or we get the cheese. Too late. <clears throat> That's how it's gonna be. We'll have to resort to more forceful methods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to eat Biscuit a couple of times. You know how those mice hold a garage. You see? You're really actually pretty lucky. You could have gotten nothing at all. Mm. <laughs> What's all that racket? I believe you have something that belongs to us. <laughs> You give me back my tools right now! Uh -huh. That looks like a tooth! <laughs> Come on! Open your mouth! It's for your own good, you know! You mustn't suffer in silence, darlings! <laughs> Uh, listen, honey. The easiest thing to do is to get an appointment with the vet tomorrow morning. They'll know whose tooth this is. Huh? Hey. <laughs> Given the size of it, I think we can count out Susie, no? Indeed we can, honey. Birds don't have teeth. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> if the Livingstones take the tooth to the vet, he's gonna tell them it's a wild boar's tooth, and then it's gonna be a one-way ticket back to the forest for all of us. What if we steal the tooth during the night? Huh. They'll see it's missing tomorrow morning, and they might suspect it was us. Too risky. Oh, I know. What if we replace it with Nugget's cat tooth? Mm, brilliant idea, Eugenie. Yeah, well, hmm. good luck with that. Nugget and Fluffy's door is always locked at night. Susie, you could get it by flying through the window. So I can get swallowed whole by those two loonies? No, thank you. But I do know how you can get in, Wash. I just found a super video explaining how to use a clothespin. Voila! Whoa! Awesome catapult! Susie, get in position. Sir, yes, sir! Everyone ready? Mm -hmm. Operation Clothespin will begin in five, four, three, two, one, zero! Sam, are your muscles made of silly putty or what? Pull a bit harder this time, okay? Zero! <laughs> Zero! <laughs> Zero! Zero! I said a bit harder, Sam, not super hard. If all you're going to do is yell at me, I need to stop helping. What are you doing here? Get out of here on the double unless you want to wind up in the dog pound. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, I come as a friend. Uh, actually, I come as a little mouse. Uh, a fairy mouse. Biscuit sent me. Huh? A dog fairy mouse? Y yeah, that's it. And uh, since Biscuit doesn't have time to come pick up Nugget's tooth, he asked me to undertake this super important mission for him. But then that means I'm going to get a present in exchange. <laughs> What's the present gonna be, huh, Wash? Your present? 
Oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh... <laughs> so, who's king of the deal? Whoa! How'd you do it? They seem so angry. Oh, you know, the usual. Art of the deal. Nugget had no choice but to hand over the tooth. Oh, yeah? With nothing in exchange? <laughs> uh, uh, no, 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 of course not. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, two kisses. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, come on, we got work to do. Oh, yeah? Even if I tell you I've got that exceptional tooth and that I'm willing to make a deal? I thought the Living Stones went off to the vet with the tooth. Quite right. Except that as we speak, the vet is examining an itsy bitsy cat tooth. No doubt about it. This is a shark's tooth. Which means that the tooth belongs to none of our darling furballs. Now that's great news. Interesting. In exchange for the tooth, I'll give you two huge clothespins. Uh-uh. We want eight kilos of cheese and a whole muscle. Huh? You're crazy. Three kilos of cheese and no muscle. Six kilos and a muscle. Do you think Wash will be back soon? I'm starting to get kind of hungry. So? Let's hear it for the king of the deal. Check it out. What? That's all? Huh? Hey! It's better than a clothespin, no? <laughs> you can say that again, Wash. Who wants some? Uh-oh! I think another tooth is loose! Yeah. <laughs> oh, please. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Plugs kibble on TV. Not only, I've heard he's broken into the movies now, too. What? Why did he do that? I'd never leave a job where I get to eat as much kibble as I want all day long. Which reminds me, I'm hungry. I never go anywhere without Kitty Munch kibble. Woohoo! Meow, meow. Want your Kitty Munch kibble, Sam? <laughs> Enroll your cat in the national audition to replace our Kitty Munch ambassador, Oscar, and you could win a year's supply of kibble. We could sign up Victoria. Meow, meow. You too, little Sammy. Want to sign up for the Kitty Munch audition? Mm -hmm. You really think he has any chance? Who knows? Looks like he likes the idea. An audition for Kitty Munch kibble? No way, not me. How vulgar. If only it was for Royal Kitty Pate. If you aren't interested in Kibble Vic, will you let me win? No. You have no chance, Sam. You are not a real cat. Everyone will see that. Don't listen to her, Sam. You can do it. You've been doing your cat act 24 7 ever since we got here. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. And I'm going to help you. We're going to turn you into advertising's first ever boar cat, okay? <laughs> Doing here. We're coming with you. We want to get Oscar's autograph. We brought a photo. You uh. this is an ad for kibbles. It's a job for cats, not goats. Meow, meow. Victoria and Sam. Leave them with me. Good, Good luck, luck, honey, honey buns. buns. See, See you later. later.
Come along, you two. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Don't worry, Sam. You're the best. <laughs> Are you joking? Nobody is as good as me, whether they're the real deal or phony. Now, is everybody here? Can we stop the improvisations, please? First up, Melody. She's a knockout! No, no, no! Too wishy-washy. Next! <laughs> Not bad. He stays. Not bad. I can never do as good Next. as him. Ah, let's get this over with. She stays for sure. Next! <laughs> you know where I want to go? I'll never make it! Of course you will! Sam, let your inner cat shine and think of all the kibble waiting for you when you win. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's incredible! Hilarious! We'll take him with Hans and Vic. The rest of you, on your way! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that Oscar's around here somewhere. I can feel it! I can take a look through there! Mm -hmm. But the window's open! Let me go! Wait, Susie, stop! Taste test! Take it away! Eat your kibble! <laughs> I love the fat funny cat! He's our guy! Take five, everybody! Then we roll! Here's the funny cat that won! Where is he? It's you, Sam! You won! Me? But I'm not fat! But I know I sure am funny! <laughs> This audition is a joke. At least I won't have to waste any more of my precious time. I don't believe it. They can't possibly prefer that bumpkin. He may be a bumpkin, but at least he's not a second-rate ham. You okay, Sam? You need a little uh, refreshment? Well done. Great job. So, who are you then? His coach. I train him. I look after him. But who's ever heard of a dog looking after a cat? Oh, I see you're new to the business. Hang around and you'll get to see a lot of it. Dogs taking care of cats. Here's the living proof. All right, I'll go fetch you something to drink. And if he starts asking questions, whatever you do, don't say a word. <laughs> so you've been acting for a while then. <laughs> I have rarely met an actor as talented as you. <laughs> Look, Susie, there he is! Oscar! 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 Can I please just take one little second of your precious time? Mr. Oscar? <gasps> Look, Eugenie! Huh. Yeah, okay, everything here is fake. It's pathetic! Oscar probably doesn't even exist! This was perfect! Thanks, Oscar! It's in the cast! We're shooting in five! Dick, have you seen Sam? Of course I have. In my dreams. He was riding this giant hot dog bareback. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> we went playing around next door with Hans. He pushed me into a big vat of bubble gum. That guy's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is that? <laughs> Go scrub up that fat feline right this minute. We have no time to lose. No way! If they start washing you, they'll find your zipper and blow our cover. Come on, Sam! Quick! Okay, I knew cats didn't like water, but I didn't think they hated it that much. Go, security! Get him back here as fast as you can. Otherwise, we'll have to do with that guy. Hmm. Security, we just lost our new kibble star. Can you do something? Okay, we'll, we'll take, take care of it. I told you that you and your pumpkin buddies would never make the grade. Oh, yeah? You sure? Because I don't know if you knew it, but the shoot's been postponed! <laughs> <laughs> huh, what in the... Oh, no! OK, 
Okay, well, we gotta switch camera. Take five, guys. <laughs> Quick, take off your costume. <laughs> You're supplying kibble up in smoke, and I was the winner. <laughs> it's not fair. Where did they get to? There you go, clean as a whisker. Now we just have to get it dry. Go on, Sam, another squeeze and we're done. Sam, wash. Hurry along, if Sam gets back quickly, the roll is still his. A paw? I knew you were just a silly bumpkin. Your days in advertising are over, sunshine. Cat? No, security's tied up. They say they're chasing down a wild boar. Shame. Too bad we'll have to get with the other guy. Look, it's him. It must be. It's him. Mr. Oscar, can I please just take one little second of your precious time? <gasps> he smiled at me. <laughs> Will you please sign an autograph for us? Of course. With pleasure. My fans mean everything to me. Shoot, I've got nothing to sign with. Follow me. We'll soon change that. Ah! <laughs> huh? You send us back to the forest. I'll never get to be a cat again, and I'll never get to eat kibble. We're going to find a solution. <laughs> Don't worry, nobody will find us here. Sam? What? What are you doing? You have nothing to fear. <laughs> when I started out as an actor, nobody wanted to hire me. Who'd want to work with a badger, I ask you? So to become a star, I decided to disguise myself as a cat. But shh, mum's the word. Security! Anyone in there? Isn't that, that the fat, fat cat, cat they, they told us to find? Come on, kitty cat, cat. You're, you're coming, coming along with us. us. Yeah. Hey, wasn't, wasn't that, that the dog who was hanging out with the boar? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go, girls. Oh, thank you, Oscar. <laughs> and cut! That's our boy. Awesome. A million times better than that Z-list celebrity. Uh, I'll get you back for this. Can someone get rid of this one, please? Contact the space agency. I think they're looking for a cat to test out litter in space. Kitty Munch, the Campbell with Crunch. So, who's the big boar cat superstar in the room? It's we have just learned that a cat has been sent into space to test a new form of clump and seal cat litter. Good luck, little hands. Enjoy the trip, space cat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Home. Why bother licking clean 100% synthetic fur? I'm practicing. So, what do you think? Aren't they as real as the real cats? Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, you'll never ever be a real cat because you've got no magic powers. What? What are you talking about? What magic powers? Mm, seeing in the dark, for example. <laughs> Wild boars can see in the dark. Okay, maybe. 
But do you know how to multiply kibble? <clears throat> Yeah, well, I got X-ray vision. I always knew how to multiply kibble. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, I'd be pretty darn surprised if you knew how to become invisible. Mm -hmm. What did you just say? I don't believe you. First, you have to close your eyes. You're okay. You can open your eyes now. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's awesome. Tell me how you did it. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Please, please, tell me. Pretty, pretty, please. Mm -mm. Tell me your secret. After all, I'm almost a cat too, huh? Meow. No, not possible. Not allowed to. I swear, I won't tell a soul. <sighs> yeah, that's it? It's that simple? Mm. That's how you do it? Mm-hmm. But it doesn't work. I can still see myself. It's normal. Only you can see yourself. I can't see you anymore, though. Oh, right. That makes sense. Careful. Sam is invisible. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, of course. That's awesome. Can I become invisible, too? No, it's too bad, but only cats can do it. Aww. Finally, I'll be able to do everything I ever wanted. Sam? Sam, where are you? Oh, yeah, seriously, Sam, where are you? <laughs> hmm? What? What in the world is he doing? Has he lost his mind? I think he's digging for acorns. What? A cat would never do that. They're gonna figure out in a blink that something weird is going on. Oh, yeah? You really think so? <laughs> Sam, say! He's invisible! But I can see him! Yeah, well, maybe, but he's still invisible. <laughs> what? No way! That's nonsense, because I can see him! <laughs> I knew something was fishy. You're the one behind all this! Quick, we gotta stop Sam before it's too late! Just look at the yard! I've never seen a cat do anything like that in my life! Why, he's a... a wild cat! Uh, no, no, he did it for a, a treasure hunt! <laughs> Right, okay, great. But, um, we gotta start looking, too. Otherwise, Sam's gonna win! Hey! Can we play, too? <laughs> I think that's enough! They've fallen for it! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Dave! <laughs> I can take all the food I want without anyone seeing me! He stole my hot dogs! Dave! Dave! Go to restaurants, play on the trampoline in the yard! Dave! Oh. Hey! Dave! Double Dave! I'll find both of you! We gotta find Sam as fast as possible. No telling what he's capable of doing. He thinks he's invisible. Oh, no. What if he takes off his costume? It must be noon already, and I'm gonna miss pigtails. Quick, gotta find a TV! You think we're gonna find him? Yes, he can't be far. 
Now, if I were Sam, what would I want to do if I were invisible? Eat, watch TV. Ah! Correct! Sam managed to get inside all the TVs. This is an emergency. The animal power! Oh, no, they know where he is. I'm going in. <laughs> Lost him. Sam! How can I concentrate with all this noise? What in the world is going on? Why they're screaming? Well, I'm sure not scared of any ghost train. I'm invisible. The <laughs> animal pound should be here shortly. I hear they're really dangerous animals. Phew, they haven't captured him yet. Quick, let's go! Please. <laughs> Quick, Sam, we gotta run! You can see me? Of course I can. Everyone can see you. Why do you think there's nobody left in the amusement park? They all ran for their lives when they saw you without your costume. That's impossible. I'm invisible. You see, Wash? That's what I told you. We're playing Sam is invisible. <laughs> Did I do it right? Can you see me now? Hello, Sam. You feeling okay? It doesn't work anymore. I don't get it. I'm a cat and cats can become invisible. One, you're not a cat. Two, cats cannot become invisible. But... Sam, Vic and Susie were teasing you. <laughs> Ah, I don't have my costume! I left it at the construction site! What am I gonna do? Susie's gonna go get it. It's the least she can do. And we're gonna get out of here before the animal pound arrives. Too late! Stop that! You're gonna give us away! <laughs> Got no choice. Huh? What? A fox as well as a wild boar? Stand back up! This place is crawling with wild animals! <laughs> a fox driving a bumper car? What next? Huh? <laughs> Come back, you lousy thief! Stop it, Sam. It just doesn't work. It's just not possible. Not possible. Aha! Follow me. to settle a few scores, and I have every intention of coming out on top. It's right about now we could use some of those magic powers. Yuki! Huh? Huh? Oh, uh, I can't see a thing! Bullseye! The cell 
Alpha? Hmm, we didn't see you. You should warn us next time you become invisible. 